you with the Riviera Beach Police Department. Oh, hi. Um, it's transferred to me by the person who was speaking with. Well, that's great, because it's been three days. I've been waiting three days. Um, this is Macho calling from the Northeast. I'm recording this for a possible publication. I wanted to ask you, uh, you said you're a sergeant? No, oh. I'm a major. Oh, you're a major. Okay, that's great. Um, I wanted to talk to you about your um, public filming policies. I saw a video of um, some of your officers accost a young woman who was videotaping them in the course of their duty from a safe distance, not saying anything. And she was arrested. Are you familiar with this um, situation I'm talking about? Someone that was arrested by the Riviera Beach Police Department? Yes. The other, the other evening, she, her and her, uh, her friend there were, were recording a traffic stop, and they were accosted, and she was put in cuffs and taken away. Now, is that your policy? I mean, that's, that's not legal, is it? Right, so, and interference is a physical interference is a physical thing too. It's not like I guess it can be a verbal if you're disturbing the peace, but for the most part, interference is a physical act. Now, you, but it's not just one officer. You had four officers there that violated this, they violated this girl's rights, and you're not even aware of it. Well, I appreciate I've that. Been on vacation. It's my first. This is my first. Yeah, I know you won't know. This is my first day back after being off like a week and a half. Like, oh, okay. You to me that you have been trying to get help for the last three days, not able to talk to someone. I appreciate that. But I will be in later, and if there's anything, you know, are you familiar with the lady? Do you know her personally? They're they're a part of the community um, down there that try to keep um, the police um, accountable. They just. Uh -huh. Silently record them to, to um, for transparency, right. and apparently your officers did not like that, and they arrested her. And I don't even know what they charged her with. I mean, there was no crime. Uh -huh. I mean, you can. Do, are you? Are you? They did. Uh, I am. A, I am aware of a previous incident. Uh huh. Uh, that you know, I guess went viral or whatever. About you know, this lady walking up to an officer who was sitting in the car. Yeah, I saw and, that. Uh, they, they were filming him, right? And he got out. He was a sergeant. Right. That guy's bad. I know that was, and I know, I don't know if that's the incident you're No, 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 about. I, I, that's not. This is another one that happened just a few nights okay. ago. But that, that sergeant, I, I, I saw that. That was that guy, I hope, is not working there anymore. He seems dangerous. I saw that video. But any anyway, yeah. um, are you interested in watching this new video and maybe um, taking these officers aside? They're going to get sued anyway. Um, but it, trying to change their behavior, are you interested in maybe trying to do that? I could tell you where to watch it. Yeah. Yes? Oh, well, that, 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 that's fine. That's fine. Okay, good. But if, if you're familiar with the lady, then she's welcome for the welcome to file a complaint if this happens. Oh, oh I, I, don't know them, I don't know them personally, sir, but a complaint, oh, a complaint, is, a work, a complaint is the least of your problems. Mm -hmm. This is a lawsuit. You can't okay. just snatch people off, off a public sidewalk for filming and not breaking the law. You can't okay. do that. I mean, it's a lawsuit. Mm -hmm. So anyway, if you go to you, you go to YouTube, and I appreciate you taking the time to talk to me and being professional. I really do. Um, if you go to YouTube and type in First Amendment audit, and then put the name of your police department after that, I don't. I'm not sure if she wants me to tell you the name of her channel, but if you just do that, it'll come right up. You'll see it because you'll see the name of your de your department, and it'll be like two or three days old. The video. Okay. So if you have, right. you know, if you have just a little bit of, of <laughs> computer savvy, you could find it. First Amendment audit, and then the name of your police department. That you should find it. Okay. Well, I'll be on later this evening, and I'll I'll do that soon as I get in the office. Well, I really appreciate that. You know, you're, you're a breath of fresh air. I want to just say that. What's your name again, so I can praise you on my channel? No, I'm from Major Spencer Rosier. Right. You're a really professional and a nice guy. He sounds like a really like a really nice guy. I really appreciate it. Yeah, okay. And what's your name again, sir? My name is Mato, calling from the Northeast. Mato? Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. I, I'm All just right. I just wanted to follow up because when I see things like that, I get um, upset like a lot of other people. You've been call flooded. I mean, a lot of people have seen this video. I, I'm going to say hundreds mm -hmm. of thousands. Um, 
Gotcha. So people are not happy okay. with that, and and you can you can't treat people on the street like that, and so mm -hmm. yeah, go watch the video and maybe go tell them, hey man, the fuck, you can't do that. Okay, I'll, I'll check into it. Awesome. Thank you so much. I'll let you go. I appreciate you. Okay. Be All right. be okay. safe. Thank you so much.